Today I'm going to be talking about Haiku Deck Zuru, which uses artificial intelligence to automatically create presentations. To start, sign in at HaikuDeck.com and click the blue Try Zuru button in the top right corner. So up at the top here you'll see there's a search box, and as you type, Zuru will search through Wikipedia to find relevant articles. Then over here you can adjust the length of the article to whatever you want. In this particular situation, I'm going to choose one of the sample topics just to get things moving along. So we'll make a deck about Switzerland. The next step, you'll notice that Zuru is showing us a, an outline that basically gives us an opportunity to shape the, um, the content that will be in our presentation. Now, in some cases, this is going to look great, and you can just move right on to the next step. But depending on what you want your presentation to be about, you might want to click to open up the Wikipedia article and then adjust the content that's been summarized based on whatever your needs are. So you can see there's a whole lot of information about Switzerland on Wikipedia, and uh, Zuru did its best to, to pick the things that are relevant. But maybe you want to focus more on history than geography. Um, so this is your opportunity to really adjust the content that's going to appear in your slides. When you click continue, the next step is going to be matching your ideas with different pictures in the presentation. So Zuru will pick through each slide and try to help you identify opportunities to illustrate the idea on that slide. And sometimes it'll be really obvious, like in this case we're going to want a bunch of pictures of Switzerland. You can navigate through options this way. You can also choose different words. So if you want to enter in your own word or if you want to choose a solid color background, you can do that too. And when you're done making choices for all of the different slides, um, Zuru will move on to the next step. The next thing Haikudek Zuru is doing is it's putting together the slides. It's looking at the images that we chose. It's trying to figure out where to put the words on each slide so that any faces that might appear in those images aren't being blocked. It's trying to choose the color palette for the words in the text background so that it matches with the image. So there's a lot of really interesting technology that's going into the choices that were being made just now. Now you can see Obviously, I didn't choose images for every slide, so, um, but that's okay because right now we're left with two choices. Um, first of all, if, if you're not a paying member of Haiku Deck, a subscriber to Haiku Deck Pro, at this point, um, you can preview the slides that have been created, and if you choose to move forward, we're going to ask you to become a subscriber, a paying subscriber, in order to either download or edit your deck. But as I'm already a paying subscriber, I can choose to edit this deck in Haiku Deck, or if I like the way it looks, I can just download it right away. I can also go back and edit each slide, choose different pictures if I don't like the way it came out. So I'm going to choose Edit Deck because I want to just make a couple minor tweaks to the way this looks. So now I'm in the core Haiku Deck editor, and you can see in this particular uh, slide, um, I don't really like the way it's laid out, so I, I might try changing it around so that the words are on the top. Um, yeah, I think I like, I like that one the best. And then um, if I want, I can change the theme to give it a different look using the themes button. I think I like Volterra the best. After, uh, oh, another thing I can do if I wanted to is I could add a video. So let's search for videos about uh, Swiss geography. And I found this great tour of Switzerland in 60 seconds from National Geographic. And so I'm going to use that. And as soon as it's done saving, what I'll do is I can go into preview mode. And you can see that in just a matter of seconds, I've created a presentation based on the outline that I put in that looks great. And I can even watch a video embedded in that. So that is how to use Haiku Deck Zuru to automatically create a presentation based on a Wikipedia topic 
You can also use a similar process for um, creating a presentation based on an outline or even an existing PowerPoint deck, and we'll cover that in other videos. If you have any questions about Haiku Deck Zuru, don't hesitate to drop us a line at support at haikudeck.com. Thank you.